Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 42, and this is war number nine, and we're going up against an alliance called 12 Zodiac. 12 signs of the Zodiac, huh? All right, let me see, who did they ban? Okay, so they've banned uh, Omega Sentinel, Ghost, and Spider-Man 2099. All right, let's see who they have planned for us. We always see Baron Zemo there, that's for sure. Ooh, I don't have anybody over there, but then I got to deal with this Wiccan. Hmm, that could be interesting. I'll have to think about that. I don't know if Wiccan um, benefits from this node. I don't think so, so I'll probably just bring in somebody that's um, good against him. And then we've got Mojo up here. I'll probably let the guy kneel who takes path two. They could switch too because I think he'll be bringing um, he might be bringing Spider-Man 2099. If not, then I'll bring Spider-Man 2099 and take that Mojo. Let's see what we got left over here. We already know Magneto. Oh boy. And then we've got this and a domino. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so. <laughs> I might not be able to take everybody. But let's see. So Magneto for that um future Ant-Man. I could bring Spider-Man 2099 to take Mojo, but if I take both of these, I still need someone for Wiccan, and I would need someone for both of these. So, mm, it would have to be somebody who was bleed immune. And... Maybe Warlock. Could be Warlock. Wouldn't necessarily be the perfect counter, but yeah. That could be Warlock. And I don't know about this um, Shocker here. I think I'd rather have somebody that is Shock Immune. So that would be Hulkling. Man. Okay. I'm going to have to give up trying to take both of these guys out. So they'll probably have me do the future Ant-Man. So that's Magneto. Then for this path and for that path, I can bring in Hulkling. And uh, Nebula. Hulkling should be able to take um, Wiccan. And then uh, Magneto. And then Nebula can take Nimrod. And then Hulkling can take um, Shocker. Yeah, that's that's the plan I'm thinking of right now. Uh, I'll talk it over with my um, alliance mates here. And you'll see in a minute what we decided. All right, so be right back. All right, so I'm going in with this team, right? Uh, we got Magneto for that future Ant-Man. We got Nebula, of course, for several tech. And we've got Hulkling. All right, so... This particular war started off uh, interestingly. I'll say it that way. So, I know I'm going to need Hulkling for a fight later on. But, I figured I should be able to take out um, Wiccan uh, without too much difficulty. But, I made a very, very big mistake. 
Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but this war ended up not counting, okay? And we were told that before the war started. All right, so you see I build up my pierce like I normally do. But look at the incinerates. I forgot. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! You do not want to fight against Wiccan with a cosmic that gets a lot of buffs. That's like the perfect fight for Wiccan. Yeah, messed that up pretty badly. Embarrassing, okay? But remember, this war doesn't really count. They're gonna deduct these points anyway, so whether we win or lose, um, I think our standing mattered. All right, so here we go. Decide to go uh, in with Nebula. Now, I already know that I'm gonna end up having to revive and heal my um, Hulkling. My fault. So I'm just building up. You know, don't have to worry about all them buffs that he was uh, preventing and all that other stuff. Okay, I have one incinerate because I, you know, dexed. But I got that shock on him. Look at that. Boom. 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 Good night. I say good night. Why ain't you going to sleep? There we go. All right. So that was... The first fight of the war. If you guys could have seen my face when I realized what I had done. Yeah. Do not fight Wiccan with champs that have lots of buffs. Basically, stay away from cosmic champions against Wiccan. Because most of the cosmic champions generate a lot of buffs. Okay? So, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do what I did. All right, so next fight, future Ant-Man. Pretty familiar with this fight already. Um, I really would feel more comfortable if I had a rank four Magneto. But he's not really needed. That magnetism, it is so powerful that a rank three, I, I would not even be surprised if a rank two would be able to do this fight. So you'll notice I parried and backed off until I saw the magnetism on him. Once he's magnetized, now I'm just going in and just heavying him. All right, block. You can see blocking does not do much damage at all because of that magnetism. Uh, he's just, against a metal champion, he is just king, okay? Uh, against most of them, anyway. So, this fight is basically parry, heavy, and when I get up there, fire my special three. You know, block, I don't even need to try to evade his specials. You know, here we go, parry heavy. Here we go, parry heavy again. Now, that caught me by surprise. That is one of future Ant-Man's um, abilities. That uh, I think it's a power detonation. Uh, that's why my power just went whoo, like that. Um, that's annoying. Um, so I built it back up, back up. Here we go. And then fired off my special three. So just a little bit of a delay. You can see my health is perfectly fine. Um, even as a, a rank three. So uh, I'm probably not going to take him to rank four anytime soon over some other champions because when I use him, it's in situations like this where he can magnetize. And when he magnetizes, he is just crazy. You know, rank three, nothing. You know, the rank four is not going to do that much better than the rank three when they're magnetized. All right, so you guys know how I fight Nimrod. Uh, Pan. See, Nebula I took to rank four because she has very low block proficiency. 
So when I'm getting hit into my block while I'm trying to build up, I'm taking a lot of damage. So I try to evade a little bit. You know, like you see there, see, try to dex a little bit so that I'm not taking as much damage. All right. But now that I have the 20, I can pretty much go in and try to get to um, uh, two bars of power. All right. So here we're just baiting, baiting out his special ones because I don't want to deal with that special two. Okay. And once we get to the special two, you know what's going to happen. All right. Yep. He decided to fire that off. He knew what was coming. He knows what's coming. Parry. Da da da. Boom. Tick. Bam. Fight over. Love that nebula. But I guess if she had really strong um, block proficiency, she'd probably be overpowered. But I'd still like her to have a little extra block proficiency. Um, that will be interesting if she comes out. I think, is she here as a seven star yet? Um, because you have that stat um, boost that you can use. And I will definitely, if I get a seven star nebula, I think, I'm trying to remember, I think she's there. Uh, I will definitely boost her block proficiency. Absolutely. All right, so we got Shocker. Now, I know why they placed him here. Understandable. Shock damage is enhanced, and he's Shocker. So there's no way I'm going up against him on this node without a Shock Immune Champion. That was going to be either Hulkling or Nebula. Now, like I said, I know I'm going to need Hulkling later anyway. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use Hulkling for this fight. And if I got to heal up for the next fight, that's fine. I'm going to do it. Uh, Hulkling is a beast. Okay. And I was going to have to heal up regardless. Either I was going to heal Nebula up or heal um, Hulkling. And I know I'm going to need Hulkling. So may as well. All right, so here we go. One nice thing is that uh, he does not have um, a bunch of armor ups. All right, so you can see here, unblockable. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, just nasty. And that's why I decided to revive and heal Hulkling and use him instead of Nebula. So that wasn't a lot of damage that I took, okay? Hulkling, Hulkling is a beast. I, I would love to see him as a seven star. Um, so they had me taking out this immortal Iron Man. I don't really like Safeguard, okay? Don't like Safeguard. And this is a good placement for infamous Iron Man. Uh, if you looked at the nodes, and um, notice that regen, he regens even more than normal. And if you know infamous Iron Man, when he gets too low, I forget where um, the threshold is, he will heal. Now, you could avoid that if you can take him out fast enough. Okay. Now, I'm trying to hit into his block. And you can see how he's suddenly getting crazy aggressive and he's not look at this and he and he won't block right there we go i mean firing is special just doing whatever he can okay um crazy aggressive look at this i'm in the corner and i still haven't been able to hit his block look at this crazy but i'm i'm taking it to him though i'm just like okay do what it do it and then i get clipped there i'm like okay that's how you want to do it that's how you want to play now, I know what's going to happen, okay? Now, I should have waited for this special three until I had him down. But, safeguard. I wouldn't have been able to finish him off anyway. Like I said, this is a good placement for him, okay? 
So, just look at the damage that I'm doing. Even with safeguard. Okay? And look at that. Tell me what that was. I couldn't even move. I just stood there. I dashed like I normally do. And he just said, no, I'm not going to move anywhere. All right, so now he's um, all healed back up thanks to the node and his ability. Oh, look, I can evade again. Yeah, anyway. All right, clipped again. And what happens when my controls don't respond is that I get very nervous. And it changes my my gameplay. I'm, I'm no longer fighting, you know, calmly and just, you know, the way I know to fight. Because now I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to swipe if I'm going to actually go backwards. I, I don't know. I did it once before and I didn't go backwards. So maybe now, what should I do? Maybe I should just block. Wait, I can't block because he's unblockable. Oh, boy. So makes me very nervous. Anyway, we'll be back and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So take a look. This is how it uh, ended up. Uh, they had some major problems, but I think they knew that this war did not count. And so they were not going to use any items. But when we asked about that, uh, we were reminded that Kabam has messed things up in the past. And so we would rather fight normally, win, and if they take the points away, great. If they mess up and are standing or something like that, you know, then we're still good. All right. So. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button. Let me know what you thought about the video. Did you learn anything? You know, like, don't go up against uh, Wiccan with a cosmic champion or a buff heavy champion. Anyway, take care. And you all have a blessed day.